Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Doom Eternal. We are continuing onwards into the Ark Complex. I am splitting the video of the second half of it into two because it ended up being quite long. There is a boss fight at the end of this one, and it's pretty fun. All right, let's go. I'm very bad at time management. I'm playing this, you know, real fast-paced. No, don't! Please. Don't make me... Don't make me go back down. This is fun. This is a fun way to play the game. You know, it's really a real fast-paced, hot and heavy action, and then, uh, you know, you're stuck in an elevator for an extra 30 seconds. Okay. All these assholes are fighting in, like, a corridor where there's electricity, but they're immune from it. To it. Alright, can't get, get through there yet. I remember this. Yeah, this is where there's a button. Discreet button unlocks the door. I don't... It doesn't matter. Return of Samuel Hayden, Part 2. A mythical figure among Earth's survivors. There's a lot of, uh, messianic symbolism with the different characters here. Uh, I'm not sure what this encounter is gonna be. So I guess once again we'll get the rocket launcher out, but, uh, yeah, I just don't know. Oh, perfect! <laughs> we did it! We finished it! There we go. Prowlers. That's all we ever needed. Now we can spend twice the ammo when using our rocket launcher. What a treat. I think there's one more big arena. So if this goes for another 10 minutes, that means I should have split the video. But that's okay. You know, I could always retroactively do it. It's not a big deal. Yep, looking good. Only three more unlockables. It means we're close to the end. Don't forget that Praetor token. The path is now clear. You can access Dr. Hayden's outpost. Alright, we can go through the other door that we passed on the way up. Let's not accidentally get back on the elevator. <laughs> Though these might not activate again, I don't know. I got three chainsaw pips. I could kill a big demon if I really wanted to. Oh, that's out of ammo. <laughs> nope, faltered. Okay, we're good. I just need a shitty demon so I can get some rockets. Where are all the shitty demons?
under the stair. Oh, it's in the. Oh, so we have to get into the next room. Cue ball. There, we got the. Got the mancubus. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we got him. Give, the, give me that mega sphere. I just love the extra speed you get when you get a glory kill. It's just so good. You. He's a shit. Is there still stuff up here? Not gonna protect those big guns. Oh, oh, I got knocked around. And I, I missed my, my frost bomb to stop those things from slithering around like assholes. Oh my god, okay, here. <laughs> Would you... Stop. <laughs> He's still alive, or it was just a second one, I don't know. Fools. Okay, let me go and grab this. Where the Arachnatron burst out of in a real hurry. Elena Richardson, log entry 006, February 9th, 2163. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed. But then, he came. He cut through them like, like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom. I like how she starts, she's like, my scientific convictions don't really allow me to see him as a, as a god. And at the end, she's like, he's a god. Excellent. Alright, that's everything except the last thing. I don't have fast travel yet. It's bound to be unlocked here momentarily. Sorry, cue ball. You were a valuable friend to me. Why am I stuck? I'm st okay, there we go. Let's see what's out here. More Warning. fighting? All armed personnel, the mortally challenged, have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Uh, I'm gonna go back and get the Praetor thing. I'm gonna go back and get it. Let's do it now. All right, so it's it's like how, it's in a weird little. I might have to go all the way back up and around. You know what? Let's just use fast travel when we got it. That's how you're supposed to use the monkey bars. Quad damage. Oh, 
Oh, there's a boss at the end of this level. I totally forgot. Oh god, purple goop. I hate it. So we have everything except the one thing I left behind. But again, fast travel. We'll, we got it. We got it under control. This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log entry 007. March 3rd, 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The Slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. <laughs> All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now. Hell yeah. All right. Still no fast travel yet. Dr. Hayden was uh, convinced uh, that you would come here for this, eventually. Uh, can I just say that it is an honor for me, personally, to meet you? I... Oh! Attention! Emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. We, uh, we don't know how to access this main cortex. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to, uh, prepare for his careful extraction. We were given specific orders. His life signal is barely readable. Warning. Demonic presence, threat level 5, entering main laboratory. Do it, boys. So this guy, he's he's hard. He's annoying. He's a boss, but also becomes a normal enemy later. Your boy's not too bad at him, though. The wolf that he spawns is the worst, honestly. I was gonna say, any other enemies or what? Okay, here we go. If I was good at that weapon swap that I was talking about, this would be a lot better. Oh, 
So if you're too far away, he throws the axes. Ooh, not bad at all. If you're too close, he shoots you with a super shotgun. Okay, now I can fast travel. Let's get the stupid thing. Do we just want to go to... This seems, this seems right. Let's go here. No, this was not right. <laughs> Let's just go to the beginning. We can, we can very quickly, I mean, it was very close to the beginning. So let's just go. Yeah, because we're currently above. Yeah, okay. Embrace your suffering, young Where's the? Beyond the pain, there is enlightenment. There we go. It's like, where are the stairs? Please. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go down here and then around here. Yeah, it's just that easy. So Marauder, I think the idea is you stagger him with a super shotgun blast, immediately switch to the ballista, shoot him, and then switch back to the super shotgun. You can get a second shot in, and that would take him down so much faster. But again, I'm just not, I'm not versed enough in that, uh, in the weapon swapping as I would like to be. Alright, very nice. I might, I might go ahead and, I'm gonna split this video retroactively. Very nice. Slayer Gate went really well too. Not too bad. I know I lost some lives on this one, but I don't remember where. I think we're still we still have over ten, so it's really not bad. It's all good good stuff. And then when we're back on the ship we can review our upgrades and such. See what we want to spend. Okay, and then next mission I think is a pretty short one, and it's a there's a ton of lore and codices, codexes, what have you. Back to the ship. See if there's a cutscene. I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene. Because we have Dr. Hayden on our ship now. You have now destroyed 68% of Hell's occupying force. Without the priests, the demons will not consume Earth as the Con Maker had planned. But there is still one priest left, and I have lost his signal. I can no longer locate him. Dr. Hayden will be able to find him. Dr. Hayden is transferring himself into your ship's mainframe. The architecture is similar to his own. This will... shoot a hole in Mars. I like how Vega is like, whatever crazy thing that you are going to do, he's just like, sure, let me help you with that. This is an ARC broadcast. ARC personnel have reported that the Slayer made his way to Dr. Hayden's tower and has retrieved his remains. We do not know why. Unnamed sources inside the organization claim that Dr. Hayden anticipated the Slayer's arrival. We can only hope that this is true. And that the resistance can continue. Alright, and then let's go ahead and spend our sentinel batteries to unlock 
some of the remaining upgrades. We're also getting there in order to unlock our big boy weapon. Let's go and We're getting there. Right, so let's pop this open. I have five. You know what? Let's go and get the other two. I don't need a, another weapon thing, so let's just go and get the last two Praetor tokens. Which is not here. So again, if you're keeping up with the codices, you just you realize that something weird is going on with Dr. Hayden and how he's just sort of like magically reappearing and is able to provide them with, you know... Well, I guess he, he gave them the... The Crucible, which allows them to then make, uh... Utilize Argent Energy. In order to make these giant mechs that Ark has been using to help fight the demons. And give them technology. But it was too little too late, I think, is kind of the point. But... Again, it still doesn't really line up with his actions in the previous game, and like, why did he send you away in the first place? And it's possible that he knew that he would need you again, and instead of just letting you run rampant, he's like, he sent you to your ship or something, I don't know. Alright, so let's go get the other one on the other side. Giant mech. One day. Maybe. Right. And what's cool after this is we're going to Phobos, which is the original moon base from the original Doom. This is just a lot of a lot of callbacks to the original games. Again, it was in the you know the the nineties, early nineties. Was it was original Doom eighty nine or was it ninety? Ninety one? I don't know, I'll have to look it up now. Okay, so let's uh let's spend these. We have six. Alright, so Sure, let's grab this. Cool. And then let's grab this. So I have every upgrade that I want, though getting the frag grenade ones now would be helpful if only because maybe I could get in the habit of actually using uh, the frag grenades instead. Let's finish micro missiles. Hit at least three enemies in a single micro missile volley 15 times. I, mean, I just don't really care that much about the micro missiles in this game, to be honest. All right, that's done. That's done. I guess let's level up the arbalist. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and, and end this. <coughs> excuse me. End this video. I'm gonna go back and uh, and edit it so that uh, it's two videos instead of one because this is a really long episode. Again, I'm trying to keep them at a reasonable length. Alright, but thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.